welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm super excited to announce that Sony have released a brand new Glacier White PlayStation 4 console for their PS4 Slim. I know this is super, super crazy. Sony are making me bankrupt because I really want to buy this console to do an unboxing. I might do an unboxing. Let me know if you want to see one. I might be able to pull it off. Who knows? But Sony are bringing out a brand new console yet again, which is super, super crazy. Only a few months ago was the PS4 Pro release, and then the PS4 Slim, and then a few other consoles back in the day. But it's crazy, crazy, crazy. However, it is a white console. You guys know I love white consoles, so maybe Sony are going, Matt, you're a fan of our system. Why don't you buy our new white one? Uh, maybe Sony, or send me one. That could work both ways, couldn't it, Sony? But as you can see, I'm very excited because, you know, new consoles, it's new information, and it just gets my blood rushing. I don't know about this. Let me know your thoughts. You know, whenever a new console comes out, do you get hyped about it like I do? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? But if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding the brand new Glacier White PlayStation 4 console. Today's video, we're going to give a consistent game review at the very end of the video. We're going to be showing you some information. We're going to be showing you some pictures of the brand new console as well as the brand new controller. The release date, how big the hard drive is and how much it will cost you. Because, you know, this console is actually pretty decent. You know, I have to admit straight away before giving any information at all, this console is actually probably one of the best ones out there. Simply because it is white and, you know, who doesn't like a white PS4, you know? Before going into the details, one question for you guys out there. Could PlayStation be discontinuing the current PlayStation 4 and only having the PlayStation 4 Pro and the PlayStation 4 Slim? Now, the reason why I ask this question is this console is only available on the PS4 Slim. If you remember, back in 2015, we did have a white PS4. It was the standard 500GB model which was available in jet black and in white, which was crazy back then. However, it looks like Sony, going forward, only wants to have the PS4 Pro as their flagship model and then having their PS4 Sim as their cheap model. And I think that is the way forward. Let me know your thoughts, because I might do a separate video about this, because it's really interesting to see that Sony are slowly dying off their fatter console, if that's the right thing to say. I know the PS4 is quite a fat console, but the PS4 is, you know, Hyper performance, so you know it needs to be bigger, bigger's better, you know? That's what they say apparently. So please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below as your comment might be featured in my next video. Now, let's talk about the details. So the first thing to talk about is the release date. This console is coming out very, very soon, quite close to payday. Sony, what are you doing to me? You know, Matt, we're releasing it near payday for you to buy it. Come on, Sony, you know. Send me one. <laughs> I don't if Sony sent me a PlayStation 4 to review, I would literally fall over and cry with happiness, probably. But anyway, release date January 24. Now, my biggest concern about this console and my biggest criticism about this is that the hard drive. The hard drive is 500 gigabytes. I know. When will Microsoft and Sony listen to the community and say 500 gigabytes is no longer the standard? One terabyte should be a minimum. Someone commented on this post and said 500 gigabytes is not the standard anymore. One terabyte should be at a minimum of a standard. I agree with him. Shout out to the bloke who, you know, who mentioned it because I agree with him because you think about it, games are getting bigger. And every game you want to install, it could be between, you know, 40 and 80 gigs. You play a few games, you download some DLC, and you then have to realise, oh shoot, I can't download this update because I have to uninstall something. So, to be honest, we do have the ability to buy an external hard drive or a new, higher capacity internal hard drive. However, not everyone out there who is a gamer is quite technical. And at the end of the day, if someone wants to buy something, they don't really want to change. They want to pay their good earned hard cash on something which they want. And Sony can make it easier for customers out there saying, hey guys, you know, at a minimum, we're giving you guys one terabyte hard drives. I think in the future, for sure, let me know your thoughts. But I think the Xbox One and the PS4 should minimum be a one terabyte, but have the option to install two or three terabytes before it gets to your house. I think you should have the customization option out there to select how big you got in your hard drive. Now, the next thing which comes with this console is the brand new white DualShock 4 controller, which... Uh, it looks amazing, and you know me, I love white controllers, white consoles, etc. However, this console and controller looks very clean. 
And if you're a gamer like myself, and you want to maybe have a, I don't know, a cheesy snack or some type of snack, that white controller will go from white to dirty very, very quick. Um, unless you clean it. I clean my controllers quite a bit, especially if, you know, something sticky gets on there, like a jam donut. I had a jam donut the other day. Fun fact. And, uh, yeah, my keyboard's a bit sticky. That's my keyboard! The controller looks amazing. I just don't know how long it will stay that clean for. Maybe just buy it and put it on the shelf and be like, I have a white PlayStation 4, but no one can play with the controller. Play with the black one, you know. I don't care if that gets dirty because you can't really see it. But, uh, you know, it looks really, really good. Now, the price of this console is £220, so roughly the same price of the current PlayStation 4. However, this isn't the first ever white PlayStation 4. Back in the day in 2015, they did release a white PlayStation 4 with the Jet Black system. And for some reason on Amazon, this console is worth £280 or so. Whereas the new PS4 Slim in white is 220 and the hard drive space is exactly the same. So I would definitely recommend the Slim. I actually like the design of the Slim. I still don't understand the pricing structure between the £280 model versus the brand new £220 model. The Slim looks better, same hard drive space, same colour, but why is it more expensive? Why is the old one more expensive? Maybe because it's rare or something, who knows? Let me know your thoughts about that. But going back to this console, taking a closer look. So the console itself looks amazing. So is the controller. One thing I do like is the blue light on the PlayStation 4 controller. It looks very nice with the black. One thing I do like is the blue light on the on and eject switch. It's something which I know it's small, but white and blue look amazing. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts regarding this. Now, finally, we're moving on to the consistent gamer review. It seems to be a, quite a popular thing these days. And this is where I give you my personal opinion. And then you guys can then comment down below whether you agree with my opinion. Whether you're like, Matt, you know, it deserves a higher rating or a lower rating. Please let me know. But regarding the console as a whole, so the price, the hard drive, everything included, I think this console deserves a 7 or a 7.5 rating. Now the reason why I'm giving it a 7 or a 7.5 rating is simply because of the hard drive space. If it was 1 terabyte, then it would be an easy 8 or an 8.5. The reason why it's not a 10, you know, on the channel we don't really give 10 out of 10 ratings. Nothing's really a 10 because nothing is perfect. However, you know, we can give ratings up to 9.9, .9, for example. That's a very high rating indeed. But to make it into the 9 category, I think something needs to change regarding maybe the look of the console. And the console looks fantastic, don't get me wrong. The logo looks nice. You know, the silver against the white is nice. If that was black to match the entire theme, as you see on the controller, you've got the black thumbsticks. You're on the PS4, you've got the black strip with the disk drivers. And if that was black, I think that would give it a 9. I, I, that, that's my only criticism regarding the looks of it. But overall, I think this console looks amazing. But please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below regarding the brand new Glacier White PlayStation 4 console. It looks amazing. Will you be picking this up? I might pick this up. I might not. Let me know if I should or not. You know, it'd be amazing. But final plug to Sony. Sony, please send me one. I'd love to do a video. Please, Sony. I would love a PlayStation 4 White, even just to review it and do an unboxing. Because you know me, I love unboxing videos. But there we have it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. I really like this. I will be doing a gaming setup on the channel very, very soon. So you can see all my consoles and how I've got them all set up. It looks pretty cool, I think. I've got these like, custom shelves and stuff. However, all my consoles are black. And I don't think a white console with my black theme is really going to work out. But it might be a console to put my TV to the left of me or downstairs or something. But let me know your thoughts regarding this. But thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.